Okay, so hi everyone. I will be discussing the buffer reader class to get input from the keyboard using the console. There are uh, packages that can be found in the java.io package in order to us to implement the buffer reader class. So first is we need to import the java.io package. So asterisk means here all the package in java.io will be loaded. Or if we know the specific packages for buffer reader class, pwede rin natin siya ang i-input. Say for example, we have three. The one is the buffer reader. Then we have also input stream reader. And the last one is java.io.io exception. So this IO exception is the exception handler or the error handler. Then we have to open the public class. So let's label let's name it as class get input from the keyboard. If we have public class get input from the keyboard. Then let's open the main the main method or the main program. The public static void main string part. Then first thing we will do is to to declare buffer reader class the variable name for that buffer reader object. Say for example data in. Then instantiate it to new object is buffer reader. Then instantiate it again to new input stream reader then system that in so ibig sabihin ng system that in is the input will be coming from a console or from the keyboard so in using the buffer reader we need to use also the try and catch kailangan yung try and catch although there are options that we can throw the io extensions so but we will use first the try and catch function. So we open try, then inside will be the, the statement. And the try and catch is the the uh, possible error, say the uh, IO exception. Then let's just have a message na send that out at print ln, let's say error. So everything we code will be inside the try and catch. Let's have declaring an example, say string name equal to an empty string. As we declared for the variable name, then we have an option value, and also we have the message. Let's say enter your name. So how do we read the input? Let's say name, variable name is equal to data in that read line. Ibig sabihin, it will be read as a string in in Java. So everything we, if you use buffer reader, everything na i-read niya will be in a string format. So let's try running first this simple program. If, if the file name will be get input from get input from keyboard that java okay. okay then let's proceed to console or the command prompt for windows you go to the directory of my working directory for so java is directory my java programs i'll check the content so i don't see get input from the keyboard so nandito dito siya we try uh we compile using the java c then get input from the word file java then we press enter so there is an error it means we have to set the path for the compiler in java set path equal to percent path percent okay and enter then compile again the program from the keyword of java so there is an error. We got the in. Save it again. Then let's compile it again. Okay, so now 
nag-create na siya ng bytecode. We have already here the bytecode. So, pwede na natin siya i-run. Let's say, Java, get input, on the keyboard, then enter. So, enter your name. Let's say, 1. Yeah. So, it already accepts the value. So, let's improve this program. Okay, system that out. Print ln. Say, your name is let's concat it so the use of the plus sign here it means it is uh, concatenation so there are two uh, purpose there are two purpose of using the plus symbol which is one is the addition and one is the concatenation so, yeah the dalawang purpose is that file then So your name is say one. That is how we use the, the buffer reader class. But let's have an example. What if there are computations or at, let's say just simple mathematical expressions or uh, in using the buffer reader. So let's say for example if we have int num1 equal to zero then int num2 equal to 0 then we add the string while string variable for the inputs of numbers let's say input equal to an empty string the so way I use the variable input is for the purpose of uh, parang siya yung tagakuha ng lahat ng input Una, na galing sa keyboard or sa console or whatever it is. Siya yung kukuha ng input. Then, saka lang natin siya ipaprocess. Let's say, uh, we will get also the sum of this of the two numbers. So, we add again the sum of two numbers. So we, have, we add the variable sum. So, let's get an input. So let's say system that out that print ln they enter number their number then we have to read the input so input equal to data in that read line then we store the value first for the input uh, input number so num1 so let's parse the input so integer parse int then input so this is for num1 so for num2 so i just copy the the line uh, the first the, uh, the the enter a number and then the input so kasi parehas lang naman yung gagawin natin and uh, but this time for num2 so since ang gagamitin na lang natin ay parse pa rin natin siya so we have to use integer that parse int then input okay so in parsing a string to a diff to a an integer format to a floating point format meron din tayong pwedeng gamitin for double so let's say for double so double dot parse double then the uh, parameter niya string value so, laging string value ang ginagaling natin siya. No number. String value na. Ano pa? Aside from double, we have also the, uh, say, float. That parse float. Same value din. String value number din din. Nasa load. So, now we get now the sum. Is the uh, uh, string. And then, then okay. the sum is. So, we can directly do the addition the system that out of quick ln I don't natin siya dyan diretso let's say num1 plus num2 or or we perform 
the addition here. So let's have sum is equal to num1 plus num2. Save natin. Save. Then let's try running the program. By left. Okay, so meron error. Magan natin yung s dito. Then, okay. Run. Okay. Okay. Then your name. Okay. One. Enter a number. Let's say five. Eight. Sum is thirteen. So, kung is, gawin din natin ito. To display the value for the sum. System that out ln will be equal to the sum is sum. let's compile the java program then let's run the program you know one five So, kahit naman tayo ng some errors na uh, you might be, you might encounter during the running or the compilation error. So, halimbawa, i-comment ko muna itong isang output ng sum. So, halimbawa, kasi si Java, kaya niya mag-determine if a certain variable is a string. So, pag nag- uh, if num1 if num1 will be converted to a string so we will encounter an error right palitan natin to possible yan na magkakaroon tayo ng error okay so yan incompatible types it cannot be converted to a string kasi si num1 is already a string so what if uh, i-fix ko yung error for num1 gagawin ko na lang is I will assign the value for input for num1 yan so here ang nangyari is string cannot be converted to int okay so pag ganyan yung nangyari is string siya so and the receiver or the result of these two variables here will be assigned to sum. Since si sum is, is still an, or is also an integer, uh, it will happen that these two numbers will be converted to a string. Magigitong string. Kaya lang, accepted siya na siya if the sum is a string. So, comment ko na na ito. The sum. Okay, comment ko itong sum. We will focus on this two. So, tingnan nyo. Si num1 dito, num1 is a string and num2 is an integer. Okay? So, itry natin siya kung ano yung mangyayari. Okay, let's say perf 5 so, 5 there is a string already. String na siya. Then, 9 is an integer. So, 9 is an integer. So, tingnan nyo yung nangyari. The sum is 5 and 9. Ang nangyari is, inoncatenate kasi na-detect ni Java. Kasi 5 by string. So, ibig sabihin, uh, the first is a string and then, then the next one is an integer. So, is parang nangingibabaw sa kanya ang pagiging string. Ang ginagawa dyan ni Java is uh, inok minimerge niya yan as two strings because of the concatenation as symbol. Itong plus na to. Kasi si plus, nangyayari yan if two variables have the same data type. Pag itong dalawang variable may pare lang data type na in integer, so, ibig sabihin yan uh, symbol plus here will be used as an addition pag parehas yung data type nila. But, if yung isa ay naging string, it means the plus symbol, it means the concatenation. So, they will the, the two variables here will be merged or concat or, jo or will be all join 
So, hindi mo siya mag-perform ng addition. Okay? So, yan yung para sa buffered reader. 